everyone so i am here with another build video this one is a new tiny living house um i know i recently did the renovation but i did decide that i actually didn't like the um i actually didn't like the house <laughs> because I don't know I just felt like we needed something new and we're coming up for season two of the challenge pretty soon so that's exciting as well but yeah I just felt like we needed something new maybe something a little bit less Zoe and a little bit more the kids I don't know maybe what their personality is going to be in the future so um yeah I just thought that would be a bit better and I think it was much needed, honestly, because even though I'd done the renovation, I wasn't 100% keen on it. Whereas I actually really, really like this house and how it turned out. So, um, as you can see, I'm putting like a floor up here on, as if I'm going to do on an upstairs. But I actually don't. I just put the half walls around it. And that's because in the rules, it says that you could uh, use the roof as long as you're not using the roof for them to sleep on. So I thought that was a good idea and I do decide to put the kitchen up there eventually. <laughs> I did struggle with that basement so that's why I kind of cut it off there in case you're like oh that was weird. Um, but yeah it is 555 but we do have I think 7 extra squares that we shouldn't have <laughs> and you'll see why pretty soon. Um, but I thought you know what it's still a tiny house and it's still like... Everything's five by five apart from this one bit. And I really wanted an extra bathroom, so that's why I do it. But we're not at that part yet. I'm like talking about something we in the future. Uh, that was me just making sure that the bed fit in. And then I decided to make a little area so we could actually fit the um, computer in that room too. And of course, uh, play testing to make sure that it works. So in case you're not familiar by, with the... Um, with the Tiny Living Challenge, it is supposed to be... Um, it's supposed to be two, um, what am I trying to say? It's supposed to be five by five and you're only allowed three floors to do it. Um, but of course you can use the roof as well because then when you have a child you could add another, um, that's when you can start expanding but you could only do it two stories. So like that, I take that as like two extra stories. So yeah, we have three um five by fives but of course I do cheat a little bit which we should see soon and I was trying to decide here is that really creepy because um you could like look over the um the balcony thing and see the floor below which is actually going to be the kids rooms I might switch that up and make it like the living room or something later I don't really know what to do but yeah, I felt like it was a little bit creepy, but we might change that later. But I just really liked the idea of having the, um, the, the, the like, being able to look over. But then I do decide, you know, it's a little bit creepy. But <laughs> we keep it anyways, and I'll probably fix it in the future. So, um, yeah, I think it'll be good. Uh, so right now we are just putting in a bathroom in the living area and popping in doors and all that jazz. At this point... This is me just deciding, you know what, that would be the perfect place for an extra bathroom and I don't care, screw the rules right now. <laughs> um, we're just going to um, do it because I thought it looked pretty cool and uh, it's only seven extra squares. So I was like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so apologies if you aren't happy about that. Um, obviously if you do use this for your own challenge and you do decide you want to stick with the 5x5 five five rules, um, which I am for the most part, just not that part, um, you could just obviously delete that bathroom and not have it. <laughs> and then you're still 5x5 five five for everything. Uh, okay. So I just thought this house was a much better layout. I just felt like quite a bit more spacious, I guess. But right now I'm putting in pillars because I just wanted it to, um, I wanted to put like a roof on a t on top of the um, the kitchen area so it still was kind of covered. So obviously it was a bit more realistic because then if it rained and you know how it goes. Um, I was actually tempted to just put like, um, try and put windows all the way along. And actually have walls but then I was like that's probably cheating <laughs> um, but yeah I think it would have been cool if it was just like all like glass and windows up there but we might change that in the future because you know what 
I don't do challenges 100%. I follow the rules for the most part and then I kind of decide a few things along the way that I would like to switch up that might be a bit more fun because challenges are meant to be fun and they're not meant to be like a burden to stick to the rules is what I think. So if something's irritating me or I feel like we need to do something different then I will alter the rules slightly for myself and make it a little bit more fun. But yeah, that's us putting it on the roof now. And uh, I just kind of wanted to go for a slope. I don't know why. I really couldn't tell you why. I, I am yawning like crazy. I'm so tired. We've only been at this for five minutes. Wow, we've still got 15 minutes to go. <laughs> But yeah, I felt like the house was quite dark and have you seen the other house? Zoe's style is pretty, like, everything's really kind of bohemian and bright and I don't know. I, I really like Zoe's style but I thought <laughs> she's not going to be with us. She's not going to, well, she is going to be with us but she's not going to be our main character soon or anything like that. It's going to be one of the kids. It's going to be the next heir and that's what story we're going to be following. So maybe I should switch up the style a little bit. I did keep um, some things bohemian, as you'll see when we get to the kitchen upstairs, but right now we're picking out wallpapers. <laughs> and yeah, I forgot I moved the house so that you could, um, it was closer to the thing, so we could get a bit of a garden in eventually. Um, so again, doing more wallpaper. How exciting. Oh, it's cold today, you guys. I took the, oh no, I can't stop. I took the dog to the, or me, my mom and Annie took um, Luna and my mum's dog, Sam, uh, to the beach today. And that was pretty awesome because um, uh, I managed to get like lots of shells and I'm going to make some stuff with them. But um, as well, uh, I just really liked it. It was really fun. I don't know why I was, I was going somewhere with that sentence though. Oh yeah, because it's cold. Yeah, it's really cold today. Uh, at the beach, it was so windy. And just, oh, it was freezing cold. And it probably wasn't the best idea to go today, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we're about to, hopefully, yep, yeah, we're going to do landscaping. I thought we were going to do the kitchen. But no, it's landscaping, of course. Because <laughs> landscaping actually takes a really, really long time. Not as long as the living room though, for some reason the living room took me a, actually a ridiculous amount of time to do. And I don't really know why, but it just felt like it took me really long. <laughs> um, which was quite ridiculous. I think it's because I couldn't really fit things into the living room, it just seemed to take ages. But yeah, um, I've never really used to do the brown first. I used to put the plants down first and then do the brown bits. But I've started doing the brown bits first where I'd like the idea of having plants. Um, and it seems to work pretty well. It does. Oh. I do feel like this house is quite cramped though. So we might have to change a few things in the future. But it's not really that big of a deal. To be honest. I don't really mind. Um... Yeah, onto the plants it looks like. So I've got a tree <laughs> and just some flowers and things. I don't really know what I was trying to make this house like, but I was just kind of, I didn't really have an idea for it. I just start, kind of started building it one day because I was like, look, I'm sick of this <laughs> tiny living house. I'm just going to build and see what happens. And I guess this is what, what happened. Um, so yeah, I wasn't really thinking of very much when I was doing this, so it's difficult to tell you where my thought pre process was actually going here, uh, because I probably wasn't actually going anywhere, I was just kind of doing it, you know? And again, checking no plants are in the house, because that is seriously a pet peeve of mine, when you download a house and it's really pretty, and then it's just got plants and other stuff and stuff in the, in the way, and... <laughs> In, in the house and coming through like objects and I just really don't like it <laughs> um but yeah now we're just choosing a thing um I end up going with something to put above the door why does my audio look really quiet I hope I've not been talking this length of time and my audio is all poop I'll be so mad if it is we're really mad actually but hopefully it's fine <laughs> I just had a little look at Audacity, the thing that requires my voice, and 
Yeah, my wave my waveline thing. Forget what they're called. Oh, yawning. I forgot what they're called. What like wave lengths or something? I don't know. Um, they they just looked really short. There, I was kind of panicking. I'm still kind of panicking a little bit because we're like halfway through, and I don't want to stop. I want to keep on doing the voiceover, but yeah, I really don't know. <laughs> um. Okay, so now we're just doing some more landscaping. I do think the outside of the house looks pretty though. So I hope that you guys like it as well. Uh, so onto the kitchen, which is actually probably my favorite part of the house, if I'm gonna be honest. I really, really like the kitchen and how it turned out. I might have actually been better putting the living area up here, thinking about it. Cause, oh my God, why? Um. Maybe it would have been easier to fit things in, you know, if the kitchen was downstairs. I don't know, because you don't really need that many cabinets and I don't know. It might have just been easier for us. <laughs> now I was trying to think of something to like block the way, like if they'd put something up, but then I think, oh, you know what, just just screw it and we'll just leave it as is. Um, so on with the dining table, which is just a little four seater. And I don't know, I just, I, I don't know what it is about this uh, kitchen, but I just really, really liked it. And it says we've got 20,000 simoleons there. It's hard to believe how many, because I think I'm left at the end with like 90 or something stupid. I literally used all the money to do this house. And to think that we started with like 20,000 here and the kitchen was done, you know? Um, how did I spend that much is my question. Because <laughs> I really, really don't know. Yeah, these uh, candles were a bit of a pain to place, so I had to move the table to be able to place them proper. And a rug, because everybody likes rugs. So I guess that this room up here would probably have been decorated by Zoe, because she's kind of more this kind of style. But I kind of toned it down a little bit compared to her normal style, so. It's not as, like, uh, her normal. <laughs> but I still like it. Um, Yeah. So what are we, yeah, I was trying to put these on top of the um, microwave. I thought it might look cute having the, the spices on top of the microwave because, you know, when you've not got much space and you just kind of stack things places and I don't know, that's what I do anyways. Um, but yeah, and I actually just had a thought here. Why did I not try and put up some cupboards? Because that would have like blocked off and made it a little bit more private, but... I don't know how that would have looked, to be honest, but oh gosh, here we go. I'm here for about half an hour, let, or probably more, just trying to figure this damned living room out because it was the most awkward thing to fit this stuff in. And it is a bigger space than what we had before, so I don't know why I struggled so badly, but I did. Hmm. And... I can tell you now that what it is like right now is nothing what it's going to be like. <laughs> so I probably should have cut all this out thinking about it, but I didn't. So my bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to see if they could actually do things. Um, but nope, they couldn't get past. So again, we have to rethink this. Because it was too far into the wall as well. I just didn't like it. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I didn't cut this out, to be honest. I probably should. Never mind. Um, and I did kind of like it under the stairs like that, but again, it's just the fitting it in. And I feel like the door for the bathroom is in a really awkward place too, actually, but I don't know. What were days? The yawns are real. Yeah, and then I thought, I'll stand it on top of this little wall instead of having, you know, the thing. That gives frees up a, a little bit of space, but... I actually didn't like it and I thought people would be going up and down those stairs and the chances of it like just tipping backwards really scared me which I wouldn't happen in the game but like I like my houses to be semi-realistic I guess you could say so um yeah it really freaked me out to be perfectly honest that like it could fall oh my god I don't know why I keep yawning which, yeah, it's ridiculous because it's a game and it wouldn't fall, but <laughs> it just creeped me out. I don't know what it was about. It just really creeped me out. So, yeah, we're trying to fit it onto a fireplace, which doesn't work. And then I think, oh, we could just put a full-length wall here and then put it on the wall. 
how about that? <laughs> and that actually worked pretty well. We do get rid of that fireplace because it just takes up so much space and then it made like the entire thing of getting rid of the TV stand pointless because we've got this fireplace there. But I suppose I could have actually moved it to the other side of the bathroom. But I don't really think about that until now. There's a lot of things I haven't really been thinking about until now, perfectly honest. Yeah, so I must have came out and thought. I think it did actually. I remember kind of going away and being like, oh, screw it, I can't figure this living room out. <laughs> and then I kind of left and then eventually I came back, which is where we're at now. And I really liked the fireplace or fake fireplace thing that I kind of gave her in uh, the last house. So we did do that again. Not yet, though. But we have the base for it. You know, like that thing. Uh, under the TV. So, yeah, I like that. Um, and I just couldn't figure out this corner. So we do put that there. But I do end up getting, like, some books and uh, popping the books Um underneath that table so that it kind of looks cool um it just looks like we've used it as storage because if you lived in a house this house is small you would utilize every single little space you had for storage or at least i would think that you would um so yeah just in the little fireplace thing and then a bookcase um and i think we're almost done with the living room i think we've just got a few more things to get but not that many things. I think a table by the door is what we get. Oh yeah, I really wanted to put a plant like under the stairs, but they were either too small, too big, or I don't know, it just looked kind of out of place. So <laughs> didn't bother. Oh yeah, curtains as well, damn. Because curtains make a room look way more homely, in my opinion. Oh yeah, move that door forgot I did that and then put that table yeah I knew it was by one of the doors I was thinking the other door but yeah it must have been that one and again I put books underneath on the little shelf thing which I thought was cute um and I don't know why I always seem to go for greens and stuff when I'm building the house for Zoe I don't know why but I just do and a piece of artwork <laughs> And on to the bathroom, I think, in a minute. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, on to the bathroom. So, of course, it's just a two by two bathroom because they are literally the only things you could fit in these five by five um, houses. Um, but yeah, I've actually, there's blinds going through the, the shower a little bit and um, it does bother me, but there's not really another way that we could do it. <laughs> it's just kind of. Um, which is, it is kind of irritating, I guess. Uh, painting easel is what we're looking for now. For, uh, no, I guess we got the microphone, but I think I was looking for painting easel there. Just so that uh, Zoe could paint in things outside, like she usually does. Which, I don't know why I put it there, to be honest, because looking at it now, there's a wall in the background. So I might need to move that in the future. Even though it makes no difference to our painting, but like, it wouldn't be very inspiring or anything to, like in real life, to paint facing a wall. At least not in my opinion. <laughs> so now we're down to 6,000 simoleons. Wow. Um, but yeah, so basically the rooms are quite basic. Basically the rooms are basic. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh gosh, I say the most dumb things sometimes. Uh, yeah, so the rooms are quite basic. Um, but we will get more stuff in the future for them. Because uh, I do want them to be quite pretty. And... Um, a bit like what we had in the old house, I guess, because I, I did really like the rooms there. And I also realised later on that um, we didn't pick up the paintings that Zoe did of the kids when they were kids. Horrible. The kids when they were kids. The kids when they were, you know. She didn't, she didn't pick up the stuff, basically. And uh, I don't know. But it's about now that I realise how creepy this actually is because we've got... I've separated the rooms kind of but I've left it open plan um but yeah you could see over the balcony into the kids room so I did toy with the idea of putting a roof back on it and then I thought it looks a little bit weird because then you've got like just space you know so I don't do it because I feel like it's too much cheating for my liking but let me know what you think of that too 
um, for that idea, but yeah, I wasn't too sure about it, to be honest. Uh, so we've basically just got a few little kiss things to do and that is us done with the build. So I hope that you guys all enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you think of the house in the comments down below and I will speak with you all soon. I am um, if the video was to end. <laughs> but yeah, don't forget to leave a like and thanks if you enjoyed this and I will speak with you all soon. Bye everyone.